just like kind of what was your feeling in, in being added and also can you kind of give us an idea of what your health situation is where you are with it with the uh the arm right now and and if you've been able to, to do any work yeah so um first you know i was blessed thankful excited to be added um you know this this organization is only moving in the right direction and you know i'm happy to be a part of it and you know as far as my arm goes um you know it's been feeling good been making strides there as far as rehab goes and you know i'm uh you know i think i think there's been progress there and um you know i'm looking forward to you know taking taking more steps forward rich dubroff you're up next go ahead M michael uh what was the biggest thing you got out of 2020 um i think there's a lot of developmental work um you know, we were able to really hone in on some things that, you know, I personally needed to make adjustments for and, um, you know, just kind of like mentally, physically kind of, you know, makes make steps forward that wouldn't have been able to do otherwise with a season going on. So, you know, there's definitely some losses there without having the season, but I think, you know, if you have the right mindset, you can um, take some good out of it. Steve Molesky, you're up next. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Michael, what does it mean to you, and, and I guess also to Zach and Alexander, to see Aiken and Kramer do what they did at the major league level this year, knowing you've gone through a lot of the same things with them, and, and your guys are all kind of grouped similarly in terms of talent level and so forth? It's very exciting. Um, we, you know, we all kind of went through the system together, played together and, you know, seeing them have set su success, you know, up there in Baltimore is great. And, um, you know, very exciting, very, very encouraging. And I, I think it shows, you know, you know, the future is bright and, um, you, you know, there's, there's a lot of good things coming.